them. It's just more easier. It's for the most part, people aren't using them anyway. They have somebody to help them back up their car. Um, if you're in the car with a horse collar on and tight and bumping yeah. down, it's hard Can't to really see anything anyway. Right. Exactly. You'll you'll get a feel for that at Frank's school too, because you you'll strap in. <coughs> he'll come up and say, "Are you good?" Yeah, I'm good. No, and then he'll come up and give you a big pull. She, she, she I bounce, strap him into his car every day at the track. So yeah. I'm just like, so you, you, I got you, the you almost put a knee in his chest yeah. and give him that extra I'm pull. I'm used to the Hans and all that. Yeah, the limited. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, like I said, we, we get the, the bodies now. They come from Lansing Grand River. Okay. Which is about how far from here? Uh, Lansing is probably an hour and 45 minutes, almost two hours. It's where Same. Michigan State University is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And uh, they come in the, the body color that you've ordered. Mm -hmm. It's called a body in white, but that's just the term they use at the plant. So your car came into us in blue. Mm -hmm. um, the only painting that we do on Class A surfaces here are the hood, mm -hmm. because a production hood doesn't fit over the high-rise manifold, mm -hmm. and we use a two-piece carbon fiber hood. So we, we uh, paint that here. And then if you've got a collector's edition, we would paint the, the stripes on the car. How many collectors, have you sold all 69 already? Yes. How many uh, collector's editions this year did you guess? Uh, guess. Mm -hmm. Collector edition means? The orange. The no, orange. no, no, no. Oh. Collector edition was just the stripe down the top. Oh, so the, like the one he had in the trailer? Oh, okay. Yes, yes. So that's a collector. Okay. Oh. The Hot Wheels was the, the Hot Wheels. I guess I'm asking for the orange. How many? Do you have the, you have the breakdown in the colors? Hot Wheels was 29. 29 Hot Wheels? That's a, quite a bit, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a lot the, more. The, the orange, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, do you have the breakdown in colors? Like yeah. The, how many orange, red, white, yeah. uh, so blue? Can you bring the charger hey, can you get on the list you? again? Sure. Okay. I can get a rent one time was it? No, yeah. no, I have people um, buy them back to back years. Yeah. Did you bring the charger for that? Charger for what? Charger for that. Yes. No. Well, yeah, it's in the, it's in the case. Okay. Uh, it's in the you case. might want to go get it for me if you can. The under the seat. Yes, in the case. It's in the net. Just bring the whole case. Sure, yeah, Give her, you got the keys, Mom? 3777. 3777. Seven, seven. You know, I'll, I'll be hearing that number for years. Yeah. Okay, so there was, I'm gonna, this number's going to add up to 73. I'm going to subtract some in a minute here. So um, there was 11 red, 14 black, 6 white, 4 yellow, 9 blue, and 29 orange. What's your favorite color? You know, right now I'm liking the collector's editions out there, but I, I like the yellow. I, ha I had a spray you know, yellow. I, I kind of saw some yellow. I, I would never buy it on a street car because it's too, it's too much in your face, but it kind of looks good in the race car. Okay, so let's subtract out two blues for production, one white and one black. Because what we did is we also build what's called a, uh, I'm sorry, two whites. Uh, yes, subtract out two whites. We built what's called a CRC. I think Mike was telling you about it a little bit earlier. You were asking about another car. Yeah. What the we CRC stands for Camaro Rolling Chassis. Okay. It's built on the same line here. Uh, it doesn't have an engine transmission or a third member in the uh, differential. It doesn't say Copo anywhere on it, uh, but it has the same four link suspension, the same race seats, the same everything. So you've licensed the Copo name? It's yeah, it's trademark. Like, so they can't. They can't, I know they build other ones here for other people, they can't use the Copo. Can they, just curious, can they buy the Copo badges? Like I know sometimes on zero one stuff you can't get. We try to limit that. I mean, yeah. like one of the things I'm gonna show you when we get out there is like the license plate on your car. Yeah. Okay, because I like you, mm -hmm. I'm giving you the car, but I'm selling you the license plate for $130,000. Okay. <laughs> because okay. because what it is, they we don't uh, have a. There's 69 license plates in the plant. There's no That's fine. Only 69. Send that in. There's only 69 license plates here. So if uh, so you can't get a license, That's fine. Don't, ruin the, don't mess up the license. So plate in six months, if you call me and said, "Hey, Kurt, somebody stole my license plate. Can I get another one?" No. We don't have them. If it's it sort of makes it unique for you as a Copo customer. Well, you get them. If somebody recreates it out there, we try to get on top of it with the cease and desist yeah, letters. For the and and we try to, and we do, and we will send out the letters trying to stop. No, we try to really oh, control that. I mean, it's fine. I just have to show it. It's all licensed for General Motors. Um, so 
we try to control that. So possible. most of the Coke, if I see a Camaro with a, that's a, maybe they've done it here, but it has a Copo on the fender and on the grill, it's probably a real one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are a lot of Copo clones, but for the most part, they don't say Copo on them. Like the, the Copo badge that's on the front of the car, they'd have to recreate it themselves. The Copo on the quarter panel. I mean, you can recreate it. You can look at the, all these TV shows with all these builders on it. You can create it if yeah. you want these days. But mm -hmm. you would have it's to do How much battery is that? 71. No, percent. I was just thinking for out there, too. Okay. So just go ahead. Okay. Um, Yeah, the most horsepower. Mm -hmm. right? Four figure number, close to 11, 1200 horsepower. Mm -hmm. Yep, capable of uh, 8687, nearly 160. But you're going to have to be on a prep track. Right. You're going to have to practice. Got to get the right launch. Sure. Yep. 60, 60 foot, 60 60 foot times. I don't know the 60 foot. I really haven't. No, I'm just saying for a good 60 foot. Yeah, right. Strip, yeah, 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 you got to always. Yeah, I just don't know the time. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, that's the trouble we always have with the motorcycles is getting that good 60 foot. It's either wheelie or fog. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's good. You got to work on that that part of it. So we, we get the bodies in here, and uh, I was talking about the paint. So mm -hmm. the other surfaces we paint, we paint right across the street, this facility right over here. We paint the underside of the car, we paint the uh, engine compartment, we paint the trunk, the roll cage, and anything in the interior where we remove pieces that we don't need for uh, like console mounts or something like that. So that's all painted to uh, make sure there's no corrosion. Um, you're gonna see some parts of the car out here that where we're doing our work right now where we're cutting stuff out, we're having to burn out some of the uh, adhesive, industrial adhesive they use on these cars now. It's an amazing kind of glue that they use. Mm -hmm. um, I'll show you a couple places where we cut something off the car, we add to the car, and then we paint the car. And you wouldn't know that we didn't get it from Lansing All that right. way. I, I haven't looked at, at because I've seen the engine compartments black, you know, satin, or, mm -hmm. and then I looked at regular Camaros and it's body color, and I'm like, okay, it doesn't even look like, you know, it looks factory. Right, the, the way you, well, you got, that, they the, do the it. Well, the Copo builds that are, we, we like to consider more of a factory than a, a speed shop right. because. You're going to see that if you went to a speed shop, it'd take you six months to build a car. Right. When we get a body here, it's turned into a race car ready to go out the door in 15 days. So it's a fifth, it takes about 15 days yeah. when you, from the time you get the body. Yeah, once we get up and running, it takes a little bit longer as we first start the year. Was, uh, was mine the first, I think you mentioned it was the first customer car, number nine, or would be a dozen, was that, do I get an email to that effect? Did you send me or something? Uh, I can recall that. Um, then you don't, they don't build them in VIN order? Or, Correct. Um, so it's not necessarily, not necessarily, and I know, you know, like you said, the first. Yours, yours was actually the second order. Second order. But it was, was that, does that mean it's also the second, by the second completed? No. No. Well, yeah, I mean, yours, yours was, yours was the top. Yeah. Where, the motor, where are the motors come? So the motors are built at our Global Compulsion Center in Pontiac, Michigan, about an hour from here. Is that where we also build the uh, Enza motors and the Indy car motors? They, they're built all there by the same building? Yeah. 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 No. Um, it is easy by invitation. It's tough to get in there. They do a lot of work for the NASCAR team and the IndyCar team and stuff like that. When they come in, it's a closed facility. They bring them in the back. They don't, they don't really like to.
and then it'll be going flat out, and all of a sudden it's like now it's really quite turning down. But what it was, you can look at what happened in the race. It is the true telemetry from the race. It's not just like what it could be. Oh yeah, the, but the, the only person that ever needs to hear that sound is the driver. To be able to hear that car going up and down. You'll hear it when it comes in for a girl stop. And then one, one guy that builds the motor. We have about four guys. Four, okay. guys. four so guys. One guy builds and starts the start start engine. engine. It takes them how long? Uh, it takes about a day, a half. And uh, his name will be on the tag on here. And then they, they run through a cold yeah. run and then a hot. Run. They don't, because it's never been fired before it gets here. Um, Typically, hot run? No. no. They'll start them here. Our powertrain engineers will come in and uh, sign off on the car. They run through the gears, check the calibration, make sure so they, they, they tune it. Uh, it's pre-tuned. We, we tuned it based on uh, going to the track and testing and idle testing. We do hundreds and hundreds of simulated idle or uh, track runs. They don't not have grade yeah, yeah. That's where the uh, 2015 video comes from. You saw the white car. Yeah, what we did is we uh, we actually. Went down there, we tested the 427, brought it back, changed out the engine, and we tested all three engines in, the, in that car. So we have about 20 people working in management, and assembly, fabrication, and inventory control. And uh, I'll show you the inventory, I'll show you the Yeah, it's not. It, it doesn't uh, charge while recording, so you can decide whether you just want to record this or record out there. Well, you want to cut anyways, so you can set that off. Okay. We'll, we'll, take, we'll save the rest of the, the 